Alabama Public TV presents Spotlight on Agriculture. Hello, I'm Steve Leith, president of Auburn University. Welcome to the third episode in a documentary series on agriculture, produced and hosted by Alabama Public Television. As the world grows at lightning speed, never before has the role of the farmer been more important. Everyone must eat. But unfortunately, feeding every person is not as simple as growing more food. Our environment is changing, and our natural resources are becoming limited. This means we must rethink the way many foods are grown while innovating new methods and new techniques. Sustainable practices in agriculture are key. Overcoming challenges such as drought and disease are crucial. These are the goals our agricultural scientists at Auburn are meeting every day. For the next hour, you'll see how they are increasing both yield and nutritional value for the peanut industry. You'll learn about their innovations in fruit and vegetable production through sustainable hydroponic and aquaponic systems. And you'll go behind the scenes of a couple of Alabama's well-known and lesser known specialty crops. When you think about Alabama here in the Southeast, our climate, our environment, our soils, we are well positioned to be a major uh, row crop producer. And so we produce corn, wheat, soybean, and peanut. And Alabama's number two in peanut production in the U.S. So we have a substantial stake in peanut production. So we're very proud of Dr. Chen and the advancements he's made in peanut breeding and genetics. He has a, a wealth of experience. He's extremely well respected across not only the country but across the world for his expertise. And his approach on uh, peanut advancement as far as genetics are concerned is very novel. He's looking at it from a number of different areas. Uh, one that he's particularly looking at is in drought tolerance. That's very difficult within any row crop or agronomic crop because you're trying to manipulate that plant to produce the same or more on less water. The peanut industry in Alabama has expanded to a lot more counties and yield per acre has gone up drastically. That's the only way farmers are able to stay in business. Almost all of our peanuts go for peanut butter and the candy and snack markets. Oh, peanuts are now grown in 37 counties in Alabama, and it is a big deal. It's, it's lots of hundreds of millions of dollars. One area of research and teaching that I'm excited about is our work related to aquaponics, where we're integrating vegetable production with uh, fish production in a uh, contained system. You can be growing fish in the tank, taking that water, recycling that water, letting the plants in the greenhouse extract those nutrients, in other words, clean up the water, and then we get vegetables in one crop, we get fish as the other crop. We eat about 11 to 12 pounds of lettuce per person per year that could be grown in greenhouses. So that's excluding iceberg lettuce. So if you think about that as per person, we could grow all the lettuce requirements for Alabama on about 250 acres, which is a very small footprint. Auburn has helped me uh, tremendously in making this a success through the advice that they gave me and suggestions that they've made. Everything that we produce uh, is sold within a 50 mile radius and uh, we sell to local restaurants and also to the Auburn University. We are absolutely very respectful of, of all the local farmers that we work with, but all the people that taught them work here. So we're really trying to optimize food in so many different ways and by doing that, I think we can give students an experience that's second to none. One of the primary needs growers have is for good varieties, um, varieties that are better than what they've had in the past. And so you ask somebody uh, what's their favorite peach variety and a typical person is going to say, I want an Alberta. They go to the market, they ask for an Alberta peach. So here at the station at a one time we probably had 400 different varieties of peaches and nectarines being grown in the variety trial here. Uh, and today that is one of the primary things that our growers want. They want to know what are the newest, best varieties that they can use. My mentor is Marvin Durbin. He's one of the pioneers in the fruit production in this county. And then, of course, working with a lot of the extension agents and Auburn University was a big asset in the beginning. We actually have about 15 varieties of peaches and about uh, six or seven of apples and 
Uh, peaches, um, most varieties, it, it takes years and years to develop that variety. We've had, had uh, crops that from peaches to, to peas to watermelon uh, and even kiwi. Auburn has had a hand in the development of a kiwi variety that is being, uh, being tested here at the station. And that just really scratches the surface. Uh, Auburn has really done quite a bit for the, uh, the, uh, the farming industry. So now all of a sudden you have a market that's screaming out for a product and the commodity will grow to a high standard. And that's why Alabama is so unique. We have the weather that's appropriate and thanks to Auburn University, we have a variety that's been tested, proven, and is now being commercialized here in the state. I'm excited about the future for agriculture in Alabama and across the United States. And we're in a time period where we're gonna have to think about new production systems uh, some agriculture will be moving indoors and it just creates new opportunities for research and new opportunities for education. So if you're looking for new ways to, to really make a difference in the world, I think we have a place for you here in the College of Agriculture.